In Creole Parametric, you can use a surface or a quilt in order to create a form in a sheet metal part. Let's take a look at how to do this. First, let me orient you to my model. Again, this is a sheet metal part. There is an extruded wall. It has an extruded cut. And to save time, I've already created a sketch consisting of three straight lines. To create a quilt using this curve, I will go to the Model tab and then we can click on the sweep feature. I'll select that sketch as my trajectory. Then I will change the type of feature from a solid to a surface. I will use the sketch icon in order to sketch the profile. Let's use a circle, drag it out. I'll use a diameter of 40 should be good. Then I can hit the check mark to exit out of sketch mode. You can see a preview of the surface that will be created. Now let's go to the options tab and cap the ends and click the check mark. So in that way, I've used the model tab to create a quilt feature in my sheet metal part. Let's go back to the sheet metal tab. And then if I go to the form drop down menu, the quilt form command is available. Be aware if you do not have a quilt or actually a solid body, in addition to the sheet metal geometry, this command will be grayed out. So let's click on quilt form. I already still had the quilt selected, so that's why it is using it automatically. You can see the preview of the quilt geometry that is being used to generate the form. Let's take a look at the dashboard. You've got a couple of flip icons to flip the material direction, either inside or outside, and you can see how that affects it. And there's also another flip icon for the punch direction. You can see that probably want it this way. It would end up holding a tube that goes through here. The references tab just has the collector for the quilt and the options tab allows you to exclude certain surfaces from the quilt being used in the operation. You can also round sharp edges. So for example, if I choose to round the placement edges, you notice that we get some nice fillets over here where the quilt intersects with our sheet metal geometry. This option, remove referenced object, will actually consume the surface inside of the feature, and I am fine with that. And there's also a new option in Creo Parametric 7.0 to trim the edges of a sheared form, which really doesn't apply to this particular model. I will show that in another video. And the properties tab, as usual, has a field where you can change the name of the feature. This looks good. Let's hit the check mark. And in that way, we have used our quilt in order to generate a punch form in our sheet metal part. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.